Greetings, guys! Welcome to the Antiverse, and this extra bonus, full Ant Room tour and update video to ring in the new year of 2019. Who else is excited to see what the upcoming year has in store? I know I am, and I am positive there will be a ton of new and epic stories to tell this year, here in the Antiverse. Now, AC family, I wanted to include this extra flash video for the week, in addition to our regularly scheduled upload, to take you all on a quick tour of my entire ant room, as well as have a look at all my critters and pets previously featured on this channel. I've been looking forward to doing a complete flash update like this before the end of the year, so that we could all be on the same page for the upcoming videos in 2019. So let's start with the Plateaus of Gaia home to our trap jaw ants known as the Jawbreakers. This colony has doubled in size since we last saw them, and is currently one of the ant room's most successful intermediate colonies. It will soon, this year, join the ranks of the Fire Nation, the Golden Empire, and Dark Knights in explosive numbers. Moving on to Eldragon Towers, housing our Polyrachis ants, known as the Platinum Dragons. Last week's video featured this colony, so be sure to check that video out after watching this video. Guys, in short, the mites are back, but the ants are doing well, so I'm not concerned. I explain why more in depth in last week's video. Moving on to the Dark Knights, our massive self-perpetuating super colony of black crazy ants. They're doing well as usual. And as usual, they're the least problematic colony of all my ants. So sadly, they happen to be the least featured colony on the channel. But though you might not hear from them much, just know they are doing great as usual, and just love their sugar water test tubes and roaches. Each day does not change for them at all. They are the perfect ant colony to keep as pets. Moving on to Aphista, our open concept ant kingdom home to our big-headed ants, the Bobbleheads. They are also doing amazing, perhaps twice the size since we last saw them. They eat lots and are still seen farming mealybugs for their honeydew. They will be needing another island expansion very soon. Next up, we have the famous Hacienda del Dorado, kingdom to the Golden Empire, our massive super colony of yellow crazy ants. They are also doing extremely well as usual in their newly renovated terrarium, as are the new shrimp and rasporo fish now living in the Golden Springs, their water installation. Moving along, as you may have seen in last week's video, the carpenter ants, now called the lumberjacks, living in this hybrid nest, are doing extremely well, with lots of new worker ants and young. But many of you asked about the free-roaming ants. Well, they've surprisingly moved out, and I'm not too sure where they'd gone. I suspect they moved into one of the chambers of Sudan, as I'd seen some workers inside one of the chambers of Sudan, but I'm not sure. I did, however, spot a nuptial flight happening this week of the same species as the free-roaming ants, which concerns me but we'll have to see if anything comes of that. The resident spider living over the Hacienda del Dorado was having a feast that night though. Speaking of the chambers of Sudan, the rhino beetle larvae, which were supposed to emerge by Christmas time, have been nowhere in sight. No sign of adult beetles at all. I'm quite worried, but perhaps they're still developing. Should I open one and check? Moving on to the Palace of Mounds, kingdom to our colony of termites. I haven't checked up on them, but I believe they are still growing in numbers underground, and I do still see their structures sprouting up here and there. Unlike ants, it's hard to see them unless I literally go in and tear apart their structures, which I'm reluctant to do. I'm okay to just know they're in there. Moving along to the Shire, home to our Diacama, Asian bullet ants, known as the Black Panthers. The only thing to report here is that I'm seeing less worker ants emerging now. I've changed nothing about their care, and they've been doing quite well for a long time. But seemingly out of nowhere, they've decreased in population. I also don't see male ants flying around anymore, like I used to. This colony runs on a Gamergate system, where there is no queen, but instead a pregnant worker ant who lays all the eggs. I wonder if that Gamergate died, and the colony needed an outside unrelated male to keep the colony going. I'm not going to panic just yet, and I'll have to explore that in an upcoming video. As for the carpenter ants, that I thought had disappeared but discovered were still around living in the grove, they are still growing underground, and I've spotted them emerging to feed on roaches. Next up, the goddess of the Antiverse, our gorgeous green bottle blue tarantula, 
living in the arid shrine known as the Arachno Sanctorium. Well, AC family, I'm happy to announce that her official name, as per last week's voting, is now Azula. Goddess Azula, as we saw in last week's video, is doing quite well. Despite the faulty shed she had where the top of her carapace failed to come off with the rest of her exoskeleton, her web layer has thickened and continues to grow in complexity and structure every day. As for the Selva de Fuego, as you saw in this week's video, the Fire Nation is doing well. And as you may have seen in last week's video, the river is also doing well. We've cleaned it up of a blue-green algae problem using shrimp and snails, which have started to breed inside the river. Check out that cute baby elephant snail and this baby shrimp. Other snails have also begun to appear in the river, probably coming in from the Java Moss introduced in last week's video. Also, turns out the stowaway fry that snuck in with the Java Moss grew up to be a juvenile female guppy. Cute, right? Next up, we have our pseudo-cannibalistic, blood-sucking Dracula ants, living in the Blood Towers. This colony has done extremely well and have been increasing in numbers, eating lots, and rearing a growing brood pile within the privacy of their underground chambers within the ant towers that make up their kingdom. This is another colony I am confident will be needing more space soon. Due to their booming population growth, they are indeed among my favorite of ant kingdoms of the ant room. Moving on now to Olympus, home to one of the most impressive ant colonies in the ant room, the Titans. They are still as big a colony as ever and eat as much, if not more, than their neighbors, the Fire Nation. If there was another colony that I think could take on a whole chicken head, it would have definitely been this super colony of Marauder Ants. Surprisingly, however, they have completely killed and cleared the entire territories of all plants. I suspect their underground chambers have made it impossible for the plants to thrive. I will have to find much more hardier plants to stock these lands with. I look forward to peeking in on their subterranean chambers in a future video. As for Rochella, my colony of feeder roaches, they're still going strong. And due to the more natural setup, I've had a nice place to compost most of my fruit peelings and such as well as feed a continually growing, gut-loaded roach colony, which only needs restocking every three months. Moving down to Axolotl Land. The axolotls are doing great and have surprisingly put on weight. They eat a lot. I love looking at their bushy gills. My fish tank is healthy and strong as normal. My green tree python, Valentino, is doing great as usual. And finally, my African gray parrot, Lagaya, my pet dragon, is also doing great. She's talking more and more, is fully weaned, with an enormous appetite, and makes quite the mess. <laughs> she comes with me for daily walks outside, and she appears regularly in my daily vlogs on my vlogging channel. Feel free to visit and subscribe to my daily vlogs here. And that AC family is a complete update on all the creatures of the Antiverse and beyond under my care. I do expect to expand this menagerie of animals in 2019 and actually purchased a farm property this year on which I will be building my first house. And you better believe we have some epic plans for the new ant room and space for animals. My team of caretakers for all the critters will also be expanding just so I ensure that every animal and critter under my care lives the best life they possibly can. We'll see what the upcoming year has in store for us all. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the AC family and follow the epic lives of all these creatures we love and cherish. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show with every video I upload. It means a lot to me and I take none of you for granted. Happy New Year 2019 AC family. It's Ant Love forever. Oh, and by the way, here's another hidden video. <laughs>